hello everyone we will continue the topic include programs as a part of modularization technique and in the previous video we created one include program which has all the data declarations previously this all data declaration we have written here in a continuous manner but now we created a include program for all that data declaration it now we need to use this include program into this executable program how to use in the previous video we covered one syntax whenever you want to use include program into other type of program simple syntax include and name of the include program so how i will use i will write the word include which is a keyword and what is the name of the include program which has all the data declaration this is the name of the include program so this include program is a part of this executable program this include program has all the data declaration it means this all data declaration are the part of this executable program just see how effective and how easy is to maintain the code previously we have all data declaration in a continuous manner now we have a small piece of code we have a separate piece of code in which we have all the data declaration and in the project always make a practice that whenever you will go for the all the data declaration please make or please make use of a modularization technique include program because project always ask you to go for this particular practice now now we created the include program through sc38 transaction code now maximum time what people will do rather than going for sc38 from here itself they can create a include program ultimately it will navigate to sc38 only but yes maximum time people are comfortable in creating a include program from here itself so now we will learn also you can create through sc38 independently you can create from here also it is your wish how you want to create suppose for all this input for this input select option i will create a separate include program and i will show you another way now how to create it's your wish how you want to create so i will simply use the word include i will give some name to the include program we all know the name should start with z or y same thing you can do to independently sc38 also now i am showing you other way that you can create by this way also suppose i am saying z in for order suppose we have a input for order so i am creating a include program with this particular name previously you created through sc38 i will double click it is asking it is asking do you want to create which type of program include program i will go for yes i'll go for yes and have you seen this is same to same pop up which we are getting through sc38 transaction code there you are choosing the type in include program here include program is automatically coming i'll go for save i'll save it as a local object now what i will do this is my select option or we can say input for the program we will cut and we will paste into this include program 
So what we are doing, so for all the inputs, we are creating a separate include program. I'm activating this include program. Do not forget to activate your main program. So now you can see we have two include programs. One is for all the data declaration. One is for the input and just see how easy it is to maintain the code. Now. Previously, you have continuous logic. Now your logic is in include programs. Now we'll come on to the point. What was the point we covered? Include programs are not executable. You cannot execute a include program. You can only, only use into other types of program. We'll see the practical for the same. It is very important point. Suppose this is our include program and I will show you system will not allow us to act allow us to execute i'll go to sc38 i'll put the name of the include program now i'm trying to ex execute have you seen i'm getting an error because your program type is i i means include program you cannot execute a include program now similar way if i will try to use this include program Again, same to same error will come. If I will try to execute the type of the program is I, you cannot execute a include program. But we use this include programs into executable program. We can use in other types of program also. We can execute this executable program, but independently, we cannot execute this include programs. Now, when we started with the topic modularization technique, we discussed at that point of time, reusability, I'll say reusability, reducing the core redundancy are the important benefits of modularization technique. Suppose simple example, I have this include program for data declaration. I have this include program for the input. Suppose simple example. I am creating a, another program. Suppose in another program, I require same to same input. I require same to same data declaration. Is there any need to create those things again? Is there any need to write the logic again? No you can reuse same to same include program into other programs also. Suppose if I will go to another program creation through SC38. Suppose I'm saying ZPRG2 underscore order. Suppose. I will go for create order details program. I will choose the type as executable program. I will save it as a local object. Suppose in this executable program, I require same to same input of order number, same to same data declaration. So there's no need to write all these things again. Simply use these include programs here also. So all data declarations are accessible here also. All data, all this input is accessible in this program also. Now, whenever I will run the program, you can see input of order number is here also. So just think the importance. One time you are, you created the include program and you are able to reuse in several number of programs. So reusability, reducing the core redundancy is one of the most important benefit. So what is the summary of the video? What we studied in this particular video, if I want to reuse a include program, how I can reuse include 
name of the include program now you can create include program through sc38 from here also you can create directly include you can give the name of the include program once you double click system will ask you to create and you can create a include program through here also now include programs are reusable programs you will create only once and you can use in several number of programs and it helps us in reducing the code redundancy so that's it in this video in the next video we will start with next modularization technique that is function module thank you